All right, Cancer, thanks for tuning in. This is your weekly horoscope for Monday, January 12th through the 18th. My name is Athen, and this is for Sidereal Astrology. You can find more about that. If you're new to this type of astrology, you can check the description down below and also to find out your sidereal sign. All right, so this is a very important week in terms of the whole month and really for the whole year because we've got the North Node and Pluto coming up to a square position. Uh, it actually happened last weekend, but this is going to be all the way through the work week, all the way through Friday. And like I said, it's going to be setting the stage for a lot of the rest of the year to come. And it has to do with primarily your communications, your self-expression, teaching, writing, learning. The North Node is in your third house, so you really want to focus on these things for the entire year. This is where the flow is for you. And this is the month where perhaps you know there's some things that need to change there or some things you need to do in that department. And maybe it's taking a course. Maybe it's, you know, uh, changing the way you, you think about something or communicate, you know, really working on your communication skills, these kinds of things. But whatever it is, with the North Node in that third, um, just cultivate it and put energy into it. And uh, it all starts this week, especially around the Tuesday, Wednesday time period when we have a new opportunity uh, coming out of nowhere, which is usually how this works with Uranus sextiling up to both Venus and Mercury in your seventh house. It could be an opportunity in coming to you from a relationship. It could be a new relationship. Whatever it is, it's exciting, it's new, it's enjoyable. So uh, there's an opportunity there. Why not? You'll find it exciting. You'll find it fun. So, um, yeah, it'd be a good uh, start of the week, really, to uh, whatever that is for you to really enjoy it. It could also be something that's coming to you from abroad as well with uh, Uranus transit your ninth house. Now also on Wednesday we've got Venus trining up to the North Node so this is when things really start to shift in terms of our life path and direction this year with that third house that I mentioned with your communications, teaching, learning, whatever that is and this is where you start to really enjoy it and you can see how uh, there's a beauty here and maybe it's because you got the ball moving maybe it's because you're thinking about it more and you're starting to understand it but it feels good and so tap into that feeling of enjoyment of what you're doing because there's nothing better than enjoying the growth and enjoying the movement. So very nice shift there midweek in terms of us really wanting to do it and uh, moving towards that energy. But it's an easy aspect. So it's not necessarily that we're going to be forced to do it either. So just be sure that you are putting in that energy even though it may come easy to you. Now Wednesday, Thursday, we've got the sun going into Capricorn, which is your seventh house. This is where the relationships and everything start to really become illuminated for you into February. Lots of passion here, lots of romance, creativity as well with uh, with others, uh, with the sun especially. And uh, yeah, good illumination there. Enjoy those relationships. It's going to be a nice positive energy for you uh, into February. Now Wednesday, Thursday, closer to Thursday here, we've got uh, Mars squaring up to Saturn. So there's been some discipline here with your, your self-expression your creativity, anything fifth house related, even romance, taking that part of your life very seriously, you know, and very mature and very grounded. And so this is an important week for you to maintain that groundedness and what you're saying and what you're expressing, what you're creating. And, um, that vital life force energy, taking that seriously as well, and balancing that with the spiritual transformation, with the depths and intensity of life, and things that are really important to you on a meaningful sense, because we've got uh, Mars transiting that eighth house, which is about spiritual motivation, and uh, you know the things that you're really passionate about that are really deep. Let me just say that really deep and really connected to on a very deep spiritual level. So balancing those things that are important to you with your self-expression, finding a nice harmony between those two things is very good. But overall, just putting in some sort of discipline effort <clears throat> into that fifth house, into those creations, or into your transformation is going to be called upon you this week. And so you'll just do it midweek, and then it'll be done, and then you'll move on. Now, Mercury is going to be trining up to the North Node, which is the last aspect, and this is essentially this Thursday-Friday time period where I think we're going to really start to understand exactly what it is we're implementing, what it is we're doing for you, again, relating to that third house, and uh, perhaps what it is you need to do. And so clarity there, nonetheless, and understanding your growth potential and uh, moving into that. And like I said, it's a pivotal time, so the energy you put into this week is going to lead the way into the rest of January and into the rest of the year, really. So um, slow steps, baby steps this week, but um, I think definitely some clarity and understanding what needs to be done. And like I said, you'll be very glad that you uh, do it. So now's the time to do it. All right, well, I hope you guys have a great week. Please get in touch if you'd like a personal reading. Please let me know if you have any questions, and I will talk to you next time. Take care.